Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a local beer. Oh, yeah. This is from the Brew Kettle Brewing Company. Now, they're located in Strongsville, Ohio, and this is the Utah, described as a double IPA that checks in at 8% alcohol by volume and 60 IBUs. Now, there's no date stamp on the bottom, but I did purchase this at our local brew pub, and I know they don't sell any beer after the time is expired. So there you have it. Now, I was very disappointed when I moved out this way because I was so far away from this brewery. The brew pub is about maybe 30, 35 miles from here, and I'm not going to drive that far for beer, although I love their beer. But they opened a satellite brew about three miles from here. So it's quite lovely indeed. Let me put this over here in the, in our uh, little bowl. That's in case we have a geyser of beer that somehow shoots out. I'm sure we've all had a can like that where we open it and just boosh. Whoa, what the hell? What happened there? Wow, wait a minute. I don't know. This isn't the proper glassware for this beer, but since I have a branded glass, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Now, this is an old school glass. I don't think they make these anymore. This glass right here is well over 20 years, well over 20 years old. Yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and get her done. We got a 12 ounce beer and we got a 16 ounce pint glass. So I'm going to be rather aggressive and get her in there. Now I had this beer a couple of times before, although it's been a few years. From my recollection, it is a West Coast style IPA. And we'll know in a couple of minutes whether or not it is. Now it's got a relatively clear pour with lively carbonation. It's got an off-white head to it. It's got an off-white head. Right here it looks beige, but it's not really. It looks beige to me, but it's just off-white. Let's get some aroma on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Now, this brewery is well-known. I was going to say... Uh, extremely well known. Let's go ahead and say that. Extremely well known for its West Coast style IPAs. And I'm telling you, they got one, uh, the Libre. Is that what it is? The Libre. El Libre. I can't remember. Right now, it's not in production. That is hands down one of the finest IPAs in the entire country. Believe me, I've had some. IPAs from all around the uh, United States, and that's one of the very best. El Libre, El Libre. Yeah, I can't recall the name right this say. It's been out of production for a little while. Uh, the brewer told me, though, that it's going to go back on pretty soon. Man, now the head on this beer is so lovely. Again, it's a very rocky head. That aroma, though, is killer. It is spicy. It is dank. This is going to be killer. Hey, let me truly thank the brewers at the Brew Kettle Pub for all the hard work they do bringing each and every batch of beer to market. You guys and gals do a fantastic job there. Thank you so much. And thanks to everybody home for watching. Cheers to everybody. Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about, baby. See, it doesn't take long. Once that first piece of liquid goes over the lips and down over the gums, and you know, oh man, nice bitter beer. This is a good bitter beer. This is what IPAs are all about, right here. This beer. Cheers. I've been waiting for one of these beers for a long time. I tell you, I like the hazy beers, I like the New England style. But that's all you can find on the, on the shelf these days. That's all the marketplace wants to sell. I don't know why this beer right here has got it going on. I see a lot of people don't like that strong, bitter, mm, I, don't, I don't like that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you know what? If you're a first-time beer drinker, if you've never tried an IPA, I would not recommend drinking this. 
I wouldn't because it's going to put you off on IPAs. You're not going to ever want to drink an IPA again if you drink this as your first IPA. You have to kind of gradually ease into drinking an IPA. You want something that doesn't have all this bitterness to it. And remember, this is only, what, 68? Was it 68 IBUs on this? Yeah, or no, 60. This has 60 IBUs. It's not all that bitter. No. You can get something much more bitter than this. Oh, oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's very satisfying. Yeah, I would not recommend this as my first IPA. Uh, if you did, I would recommend drinking it in a four-ounce tasting glass. And even then, you may not still, you may not like it. You may not. Because it, it is bitter. It is bitter. But this is what I like. A nice, dank, spicy beer. Man, yeah. Because this has such a nice, dry finish to it that you have to drink some more because it's dry. Let me pour the rest of this in here, and then I'm going to have to bid you adieu because I'll sit here and drink this entire beer, and then there will be nothing to take a picture of. I sent my good buddy Jonathan in New Jersey some of these beers. I hope he liked them. Oh, uh, yeah. Jonathan, what did you think about this beer? Oh, yeah, man. This is a great beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer at all. I tell you that, man. 8% too. Yeah. You better be careful because this beer will catch up to you and it'll put you right under the bus. <laughs> and now, if you're at home, that's okay because you'll just fall asleep in a reclining chair or on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, please don't uh, go out and drink this. Uh, don't imbibe too much with this beer because it will bite you in the you-know-what. But I tell you what, man, it's a great color. Look, I don't think I told you. Yeah, I don't think I said anything about the color because I was so anxious to get to the beer. I wanted to say it was a copper color, but um, for the reflection, I'm going to say it's a deep golden orange color. It's not really copper. But it's got a wonderful aroma. Mm. Respect the beer, and it will respect you. On that note, my friends, I'm going to tell you to try new things. Because life is short, and if you like a good West Coast style IPA, this is one of the finest ones you'll ever find right here. Yeah, and they're known for their West Coast style IPAs. I don't believe Brew Kettle brews an any IPA. They could. I don't recall seeing one though. On that note, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. <laughs> As always, cheers.